I usually hesitate to film from my home thinking the lighting wouldn't be good but now that I have this light, it's not that bad. So I failed JE Advanced after I had taken one year drop after high school just to study for it. That failure led me to something infinitely better. So here I am 10 to 11 years later to talk about this story. This is the story of how I manifested the GKS scholarship. GKS stands for Global Korean Scholarship. There were so many of you students who are currently in that phase of life where you're applying to colleges and finding out what you want to study further and you contacted me and asked me about how i got the gks scholarship what did i do for it if i'm being completely honest i don't like to talk about academic stuff i am not an academic advisor i don't want to be put in the position of an academic advisor but of course i want to help you the viewer as much as i can but not in the academic way because i don't have the answers to the questions that you are asking i do have the answers of how to make a better mindset to achieve anything that you want in life but i cannot tell you what to study i cannot tell you how to apply for the scholarship how to act in interviews to me that feels inauthentic and it's just not for me i failed the je advanced exam in 2016 i attended a local college in mumbai where i was studying physics chemistry math again and i hated it so much i felt like why am i doing this again so i started researching for scholarships back when i was a teenager so 15 16 17 i felt completely trapped in my house I didn't have a good relationship with my parents i was also feeling like completely lost with a disorganized mind because i had failed the exam i had given my all to and had ended up in a really bad situation where I was still living with my parents when I did not want to. So I would say this was not like a casual manifestation. I had this survival level of clarity that I want out of here. I will find any alternative which puts me in a powerful position which does not put me dependent on my parents financially. If they control the finances, they would continue to control my life even now. So I wanted nothing to do with their money. I decided I'm going to get a full scholarship. My criteria for what I was looking for is something that gives you a monthly stipend, that covers your airfare expenses, accommodation, obviously the tuition fees is covered by it, something that is all encompassing so I didn't have to depend on my parents at all. Why did I choose Korea? I've been a K-pop fan before most people even knew about K-pop. I was interested in science, computers, and K-pop. Those were my interest back then. After I found out about the scholarship, I started taking aligned action in the direction of getting the scholarship. At the same time, I was applying to IHA. They have like a full scholarship for women from third world countries. While I was applying for these scholarships, I had completely memorized the whole documents of what is required, what I need to prepare, what stories from my life I should mention in the statement of purpose. Even though there were so many parts of this whole process that felt fucking annoying, like going back to my school, contacting my high school teachers that I really don't like, and asking them for a recommendation letter. I just knew that I have to get this done and this was the self-loving action. I have to get this done to get what I want. I have this very clear goal of what I want and why I want it. At this time, I had to become like super meticulous and super stubborn about getting the document that I need from my high school or the college that I was attending because one recommendation letter I got from my chemistry professor in the college at St. Xavier's and one recommendation letter I got from my high school class teacher who was also my computer science teacher and you know what like in computer science i ended up getting 100 on 100 like a full score in 12th grade i ended up getting a 98.6 percentage and yet she marked me as just a top 10 or like a top 20 percent student instead of a top 1 percent student after getting 98.6 percentage what do you expect from me to become a top 1 percent student in your eye like i seriously don't fucking get it moving on Another thing they ask for is English proficiency test scores like TOEFL or IELTS but I did not submit this document because my whole education has been completely in English medium school. I had to go back to my primary school and get this document saying that yes this person like my education has been completely in English so I don't have to provide any other English proficiency test score. For award certificates I just had this one certificate from having gone to a student exchange program as everything else in high school it was a pretty horrible experience but yeah that's what i submitted in my statement of purpose and study plan i talked very honestly about my story of having prepared for je advanced and failing that that was my story arc that whole incident has affected me so much it's something i still talk about 10 years later okay now here's the manifestation part after i had submitted the documents and i was selected in the first round and there was going to be like an embassy interview so i had to travel from mumbai to delhi to the korean embassy 
in Delhi and have an interview over there about the scholarship. I also saw like other competitors of mine. They were all guys. I kept reminding myself there is no competition. There is no competition. I am the winner. Kept telling myself there is no competition and I am the winner. After this interview was done and I was waiting for the results, I still had to go back and forth to the college that I was enrolled in. So when I was traveling, I would visualize for one to two hours every day, not with images, but feeling gratitude and feeling that happiness that, okay, I'm in Korea now, feeling so much gratitude and relief and calm. It is done. It is done. While waiting for the results of the second round, the embassy interview, I was doing this every single day. I must have done this for one month, visualizing while listening to K-pop music that I'm already there, that I'm already here in Korea. Every time I'm walking through like beautiful streets in Korea, I feel so grateful for my younger self because she made this happen. So the really interesting thing is back then the book that I was obsessed with was Power of Now. So there was nothing in the book about visualization. This visualization practice, I was just doing it naturally. It was not like I got this advice from anyone. I was just doing this intuitively to calm myself down and to reassure myself that there is no competition and I am the winner. This advice can be used to manifest literally anything. It doesn't have to be the scholarship, but I'm just telling you this is what I did to get the scholarship. If I could summarize the three practical things that I did during this time. First, get brutally clear on what you want and why you want it. And like I'm highlighting the why part. The why part is really, really important because it keeps you going. It keeps you hopeful when the going gets tough. In my case, the why was so strong that I have to, I must become independent for my own growth, for my own expansion, for my life to amount to something because my soul was dying in that house. My soul was dying if I had continued to go to that college, if I didn't take the risk to drop out. And if not this scholarship, like because my why was to get out of the house, it doesn't matter that I got this GKS scholarship. I would have applied and I would have received anything that fits my criteria. The second one, I would write about what mindset do I have which could be a resistant thought which could be like a blocker in me getting this thing and then I would do belief work what are the thoughts that are gonna stop me from getting this I'll give you an example when I was recently trying to manifest something I realized that I have this limiting belief and the limiting belief was I usually don't get the things that I want and when I did some inner child work belief work to go back to the first time I thought this I was taken back to so many memories where I was told by my parents, we can't afford this, we can't afford that, we are in a tight position. Because this thing was repeated so many times, it created a belief in me. There were also many beliefs about deserving, that I don't deserve what I want. I had to like really work with this belief. The fact that I was not born with this belief. These beliefs are instilled in us. We start to believe these things because of our life experiences, but they are far from the truth. What ends up manifesting in your life is a reflection of your beliefs. I know this process is difficult and Byron Katie. Byron Katie's the work is useful for this and also Teal Swan, her whole life's work is also about this. Listening to her workshops and listening to her talks has helped me a lot. I also actually like sit down and do the practice of where is this belief coming from. I feel so much compassion for all the children who are feeling this belief that I usually don't get what I want, I don't deserve what I want because these beliefs are not formed by accident. These beliefs are formed because there are so many things that happen in our life that made us think like this. I'm telling you, this can be undone. Third, take aligned action daily. Even if it's frustrating, the resistance will start coming when you're taking the action or when you're trying to take the aligned action. So when that resistance comes up, that is a good time to work on the belief. The manifestation part is visualize emotionally, not just visually. I would like set a 15 minute timer and visualize emotionally and just feel so happy about getting what I want. Practice feeling thankful about having received before you even get the results. I found this post on the Neville Goddard Reddit and I really liked how they've explained about what manifestation is. They say, manifestation is not this. Visualize and affirm. Get my desires in 3D. Be happy in 3D. Instead, manifestation is this. Visualize. Get my desire in imagination. Be happy in imagination. The byproduct is, it appears in 3D as a cherry on top. 